Hey guys, it's Evan the Cat King here with another video. Today I'm doing another video about adventure and disventure camp. Today I'm just gonna... I talked about the seasons and what I which season I thought was better. Currently I am still on the idea of disventure camp being the better season. Um, But I wanted to do just a whole character ranking. A whole... Uh, I got up this tier list... And I'm going to make a whole ranked video putting everybody in their own tiers and whatever. Um, and yeah, so I've only, I've haven't done many. I've I've done one true like tierless video before, but today I'm gonna do it with this venture and adventure camp characters. Um, I won't be doing Chef here because well he's from Total Drama, so and yeah, so um. But every every original character will be here. Um, this dude, the guy that kind of steals the million dollars at the end, he can Nina will eat you alive. Um, <laughs> um. So um, yeah, he 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 kind of he's just he's not the best character. Um, he's kind of boring to me. He's just yeah. Same same with this dude. He's he's a boring character. He kidnapped Chris. He can he can just he can just he, Nina will eat them alive. Um, Will to the bus you go. I find Will to be kind of like not too. He's a bit of a wuss. He's a bit of a wuss. Even though he's a he he kind of reminds me of DJ. He reminds me of DJ. He's a worse DJ in if I'm going to say anything. Um Nick can get an okay meh. He's an he's a, he's an interesting character. He's the rich guy who kind of thinks he can who do, who he doesn't really need the money, but he thinks he can win the money. And win the popularity contest by using his money. <laughs> so he's he's pretty funny, dude. So yeah. Um, whatever her name is, she can go to okay meh. I don't I don't know all of these people's names. Um, spe but specifically the adventure camp people. Some people I might not know their names because. Well, I don't. I, I, it's all. It's all in like Spanish or whatever. I can't. I can't exactly remember. Um, Dan, to to the bus you go. Um, Lil as well to the bus you go. I I, Dan was there for one episode. I there's not much on him. I don't. Um, know much about him. Lil, I find her to be very just. Not not that interesting. I find it weird that she instantly questions Fiore in the season. And it, I get it, why they talk about it. Like, that she's the the Girl Scout captain and she's, like, like doing some weird things or whatever. But, like, that, that doesn't make sense to me because... Yeah, she's she's suspicious of Fiore because she can write. She can read and write fast. Like, sure, she, yeah, but that's just no. Um, Jake, I think this this is this one's Jake. Um, he, he's going at the top of okay, meh. I I I I still am not a huge fan of Jake. Um, so it's just. Yeah, I'm still not a huge fan of Jake, but I find him to be not the best character, but either way, like, he, he, he's, he's carried by Tom in this season, like, he's, he's, he, he gets, like, the fan favorites because of Tom, I think, and, yeah. Ellie, I guess I'll give you Marshmallow for you, no votes, um, Ellie, I, st again, I, as I said in my other video, I do like Ellie. She is a good character. I just don't like the fact that she won. So, 
That's the one problem I have with Ellie. I'll give her marshmallow for you, no votes. Um, Gabby can get an okay meh. She's going there. I I find, I found her, her her some of her things that she was doing funny, and yeah. Fiore, I I one million dollars. I I really liked Fiore. <laughs> Even though she was, like, the villain, I was really rooting for her to win the whole thing. In the end, I was hoping that she'd win, but she didn't. Ellie won. Well, technically, they they both have alternate endings, so... But, I mean, Fiore's alternate ending ain't the best. <laughs> it ends with Ellie losing all of her hair and Fiore getting hit by by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's not a great ending. It's definitely the worst of the two endings and the, but it's still yeah. Um Miriam she, she she's she's she was the best character in in Adventure Camp to me. Come at me, bro. I don't care. She was she was she had such a nice story and her friendship with Tom and Jake was really nice there towards the end. Gret can go there. She was a, a meh, okay character. She's she's not my favorite, but she's not the worst. She's, she's, yeah. Tom is at the top of Marshmallow for you, no votes. Okay, so now that's all of the Adventure Camp people. That's my, I guess if you want to put down, like, Adventure Camp... Tier list, if you want to know my Adventure Camp tier list, then that that's it right there. But now on to Disventure Camp characters. Um, Crystal, I think Crystal goes to the top of OK Meh for me. Crystal, I'm very interested in and where she's going as a character. There's only two episodes left, but I feel I really feel like she's a, a really good host currently. She's probably a very she's a very interesting host. I think this could, she could be better like a better like she she's a better host in in better than Chris in a sense of story wise. She's actually getting a storyline. She's a, she's gotten to get a bit of a storyline. If you haven't seen Disventure Camp, I don't want to spoil anything for you so if, if you haven't I'd, I'd suggest you go watch it because i don't really want to spoil anything but i'm gonna i'm gonna say it because well this is a tier list about the characters but her whole thing of her being not wanting at the beginning not wanting to go crazy like her dad but shortly ends up it starting to go crazy but she realizes that she's making mistakes and when it comes to like Oliver, like he, she talks to him a lot, and that that kind of yeah. But either way, I I I really want to see where it goes in the next two episodes because like the last thing we saw was her just like passing out, and then Oliver coming running, and yeah, but yeah, Yule. Oh, I I don't know what to do with Yule now. Yule. I really like him as a character. I think he's... I'm surprised... Like, I was expecting him to be the main antagonist. I'm kind of glad he isn't. Because he's such a... Just... Usual main pro... Main antagonist. And it makes sense for him to just... Be eliminated. Because nobody seems to like him. So... And also... Like, I've seen a lot of people put him in the bottom tier. But I, I really, I do like Yule. I think Yule is a great character. Um, I, I find him, I'll put him there. I think, I think he's a, he's a, he's just a scumbag. And I absolutely love that. So, he, he's, he's one of, he was, I mean, yeah. He, he got what he deserved. He just, yeah. I, I don't know what to say about Yule. He's an absolute He's just an evil dude, and I'm, I mean, he could have, he very well could have been the main antagonist of the season, but they didn't do that, and I think that that's a smart move, because he's, he's a, one of, he's like, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I just, <laughs> 
Now, Lake, I'm gonna put her above Ellie. I like her more than I like Ellie, I think. Lake is a, I think Lake is one of, is, a, got a lot of great, like, story beats in her, in her character. She got eliminated before I expected her to, like, like, when I watched, like, the first couple of episodes, my prediction was that Lake and Hunter were gonna be the finalists. That was gonna be, that was my prediction. If, if I, I was, if I was gonna make a prediction video back when it all started, like, in the first couple of episodes, I, my guess would have been that Lake and Hunter were gonna be the final two. But Lake ended up getting eliminated, and she's not even in the final four now. Hunter is, but she's not, um... But like at the, at the beginning, I was I was very interested to see where it went. Um, I know Silly Billy, my <laughs> my friend Silly Bill. Well, not my friend, but Silly Billy. If you haven't checked him out, like you the, go check him out. I, I'm pretty sure probably most of you know who Silly Billy is. But I know he didn't like her right away. I wasn't a huge fan of her right away. But they they continuously kept on giving her major roles in each episode and giving her a lot of story with like all the stuff with her parents and it it, it just it, she became a very sympathetic and character and they really did a great job of like feel of, the feeling of over of someone being over like stressed and that uh, that that really hit a lot of people it hit me for sure and I really liked it her her whole character arc and her finally in like later episodes getting to just do what she want like finally re like rebelling I guess yeah against and just getting to do what she wants to do thanks to people like Rosa Maria and it, it was just a nice ending for her storyline but it felt like there was more to her story so I can't put her at the one million at the top tier because I felt like there could have been more honestly I hope that they do a second season of Disventure Camp I hope that they do a like Disventure action <laughs> so, so give us a so give us all the characters again if anything I would love to see a mixture of the characters I might I might want to do a, something like that but anyways, Hunter, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in the same tier as Lake. Currently, he's he hasn't we have I mean I might need to like re update this stuff once, like all is said and done with this season. But Hunter, he's he's he he's he's <laughs> it's funny because he's been like described as like the player of the the season, like as. Like, the guy who gets all the girls, but in reality, I don't see that in him. He seems like just the... He seems like a freaking vampire. <laughs> and he's... He's he's he's, a pretty, he's just, like, a kind of, like, an antisocial dude, and that's just who he is. <laughs> and yet, he got lucky, it feels like. He came, he came here... He literally said on the first episode that he's not the most social of people, but he, he's gonna have to do the social game for it. And then he met two people that he, that we're, we're like, great friends with. And, yeah. I think Hunter is a great character, and I'm, I, I want to see where he goes in these, like, next, I think, I think that they said that there's two episodes left. I, I want to, I, wa I don't, I don't, I think that that's what it is. So, yeah. Now, Tess also gets up there as well. She's her her she's a very sympathetic character as well, just like Lake. Lake goes into stress. She goes into like depression and stuff and I I I can relate to that. Um but either way, like with all the stuff with Tess, I would love to put some of these characters in like I felt like there was yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say here. I just I'm I'm bad at YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, um Maggie Maggie, I'm going to say go to the boss with you. 
Like she she was interesting in the first in the first few episodes. She uh, she was like a really like like kind of worried about everything like how uh, people like she like scared people and stuff. Like in the first episode, literally Oliver you jerk called her a giant and ran away from her. God damn it, Oliver. <laughs> But she she ended up she ended up like meeting Lake and Rosa Maria and ended up like becoming more comfortable in her own skin and she was a nice character but it's just a shame that they haven't done more with her and Kai. Speaking of, you know I'll I'll just put Kai up there with her right now. I think that that's where they should go. I as much as I think that if if they if they're gonna do anything more with them, I hope that they would. But I don't know. Oliver, you can go right there with Crystal. I your two your two storylines are like right together, so I might as well put you guys together. Um, Oliver, he he's just a nice dude, except for when he's calling Maggie a giant and running away. Connor. Connor, Connor, Connor. What am I going to do with Connor? Connor. I'm going to put him up here as well. He's. I really liked Connor in the first few episodes. I'm so sad that he didn't make it further. When I was watch, like watching the like third or and like episode, I was so sad to see Connor go at the end. And oh, it was such a. I was. Uh, I really felt like a bit of a, like, Dwayne feeling from him. He was just trying to fit in, and it didn't work out. He didn't fit in, so he started acting like himself, finally, in those later, ep in, in, like, episode three. And I, I was excited to see where he was going to go, but then they just dropped in double elimination on us. And that was sad. And then, yeah. Either way, Connor, I think he's funny. He's he's I think he's a good character and whatever. Um Aiden. One million dollars. I don't wanna I mean he's he's such I'm so badly wanna see him win the million dollars right now. If if I the down with the four remaining, Aiden I see I'm rooting for Aiden one hundred percent. I think he's most likely to win as well so yeah Aiden I'm rooting for Aiden in the end here he's him and James are, have had such a good storyline going and I'm really excited to see how it all ends Allie I'll put her right there with Tess and Hunter just she can go there the gamer girl it's a shame that her she kind of just I feel like I'm wondering if plans had to change with her because of her voice actor. It's weird how her in the, her last episode, her voice actor just randomly changed and I didn't like that. Um but yeah. I I don't know what else. Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carol, I got to put her down here. Carol, I don't know why. Carol just kind of disappointed in this season. She she was she was fine. I was fine with her being like an Eva type character and getting second boot, but then when they had her return, they had it seem as if she was gonna be the new main antagonist. But then an episode at the next episode, she literally got she got taken out of the game because she broke like broke her leg. She got um. A medical emergency to get her sent home. And I just... That wasn't... That was not... Like, I, it felt like they could have ha used her as being the main... Final main antagonist. But instead, they gone with the way of... I guess Rhea now is going to be the main antagonist. I'm guessing. But, yeah. Nina. Um, I'm going to put Nina up here because I, I don't want to end up down here with these two. So, yeah, Nina. N Nina, just 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 calm down. Okay. Um, Rosa Maria. I'm not going to lie. Rosa Maria has really got... She's... I Ever since the most recent episode of this Venture Camp, um, I'm, like, really impressed with Rosa Maria, I think. She... 
they did quite a bit with her her character in that episode. I'm gonna put her up here. She's not. She's still. I don't think she's as good as people like Lake and Tess and them. But I think she's definitely a very good. She's a, she's shown her own, and I think she's gonna. I I I'm really just yeah. I I don't know what to say. Just go watch this venture camp. <laughs> Um, Rhea, 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 you jerk for getting rid of, <laughs> for getting rid of Rosa Maria for no reason and becoming the weird main antagonist. Go, you're getting fed to Nina. <laughs> Rhea has dis. I'm I'm really confused by Rosa Maria now. With her decisions and stuff, why would you get rid of your one ally remaining in the game? I don't get it. You're you're an idiot, Rhea. I'm so confused. James, you can top out Marshmallow. You 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 get you ain't getting any votes from me. James uh, seemed like he was gonna be the main antagonist. I I really I really thought that James was going to kind of be the main villain of this season. But it turns out he's kind of become a bit more of an anti-hero, I guess. I wouldn't call him a hero, but he's he's a bit more of an anti-hero. He, he's he's not the main villain, but he's he's willing to play a bit dirty if he wants to. And I think him and Aiden are just a great duo. And I'm really excited to see where it goes. Um, and then you. I forgot what your name is. You can go over here. Yep. All right. That's... <laughs> he's the bus driver. That's it for this episode. Um, this is my tier list of all the Adventure and Disventure Camp characters. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you agree and disagree with. Um, but anyways, guys. We'll see, we'll see you next time. Bye.